Here we go. Here's your sausage pizza. Holy crap. Isn't that ridiculous? It's like the pizza that ate Denver. Yeah. Shit. OK. I'll let you take that in. Thank you. Man. Oh, my god. Dripping in grease. And the oil, the grease coming out of that. The oil in there, look at the grease. That's gross. He said it's too greasy, just exactly what I, I feel. Oh, shut up. I don't want to hear it. Honestly, the best pizza in Denver. I mean, does that look like the best pizza? Trust me, I can tell you, it doesn't taste good. So, let's see. The dough is so thick. Why? I mean, it's just like a loaf of bread. It's like a baguette in there. Mm -hmm. That's our thin crust. That's the thin crust? Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> wow. Seriously? Yeah, a lot of people get upset with me for that when they ask for the thin crust, and I bring them the thin crust. Wow. Did you touch that? The dough is raw. Oh, wow, it is. Raw pastry. My god, what a mess. Darling, I'm done. Alrighty. Uh, dreadful. OK, I'll let him know. Messy. That is definitely not the best pizza in Denver. Let's get that right. Hey, Pete, he wanted me to show you the uh, dough. What's wrong with that pizza? He said the Let pizza was doughy on the inside and greasy. It is doughy, look. Really? I agree with him, too. Are you kidding me? I don't know what the chef is talking about, and a lot of people love it. I do, I eat it. Why don't you guys throw this away? Leave it, I'm gonna eat it. Are you kidding me? What? That's disgusting. I'm hungry. I think Chef Ramsey's problem is that he hasn't tasted a classic pizza before. Damn, it's good. He's tasted all this fancy stuff, you know. Okay, here we go, the Jesus. meatball hero. The meatball hero. Wow, and how do you, how would you? Uh, um, oh. I guess you approach that however you feel. Wow, thank you, my darling. No problem. Just visually, there's nothing hero looking about that. God. That's not anywhere near a hero sandwich. That looks more like a sloppy joe. It's bad. It's all soggy there. It's like eating a patch of soaking wet grass after a cow shat all over it. You're all done with that. That is You're definitely not a hero. Yeah, oh, disgusting. Right. There's a typo error on the menu. It's not hero, it's zero. I'll let him know. Please. Do you want to hear chef's response? Yes. Yes, he said yeah. it's a zero, not a hero. I don't believe this. I have plenty of people that they love my meatball. I am very proud of my meatballs, and for Chef Ramsey to say it was a zero, it's very insulting. This is a big booby. Wow. And it comes with fries and onion rings. Bloody hell. It just cascades off the plate. What's that? A scallop, a small one. That's a scallop? Yes. How rubbery that is. I know. Honestly. They were sent back early the same, because they were I mean... too chewy and tough. Wow. It's disgusting. Uh, yeah. It's just dumped on here. Do they season anything? No. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'll bypass that, darling. OK. Otherwise, I'll need a bypass. OK. That was a big boy disappointment, let me tell you. Mark, the fries are soggy. And he said he will bypass, because if not, he's going to need a bypass. Close. Well, keep in mind, he comes from a place where they think scones are delicious. <laughs> I don't think Lisa is taking things as serious as I am, and that's the problem. Oh, all right. Let's do this again. Good luck. All right. This is the last Okay, Grace. So. Thank you. Yes. How do you eat this? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? How much lobster is in there? Let's see if I can put the lobster back together. There's the claws. No wonder this place is losing money. Jessica, have you seen how much lobster is in this roll? Mm -hmm. Look at mm -hmm. all that. I know. 
It's a whole lobster. There's more. Lobsters don't have six claws. Bloody hell. Does every sandwich have that in there? Yes, it's typically a, a pound, a little over a, a pound. A pound? Yes. That should be the whole weight of the lobster, not the actual weight of the meat. The portion sizes of everything are huge. That's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Nothing toasted. Soggy. Disgusting. That uh, Danny, I'm done. Yes. You just show uh, Mark that roll. Thanks, Danny. Thank you. I'm holding on to my chowder. <laughs> Why? What's the matter with that? This is larger than a regular lobster. What? This. He said that the total weight of a lobster should be a pound, not the meat in itself. He said this is where you lose any money. I think Lisa not being around has drain mark and it makes a difference on the food. What else sucks? All lobster all sucks. What? Yeah, it's too much lobster. I've never heard anyone complain about too much lobster. Well, it's like having too much money. <laughs> Mind blown. Here's your chowder. OK. Nice. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. Flowery, bland, no clams to be seen anywhere. I mean, this is New England. That's what hurts. Jessica. You don't look impressed. Just have a little taste in there for me, please. Oh, it's very thick. It's flowery. It is. I wouldn't even paste my fucking wallpaper with that. Um, God, that's dreadful. Yep. That's just bland. I love Mac tasting. Gloopy fucking glue. Yeah, it's not good at all. Um, right, what would you recommend? The Big Bay Club. It has our shrimp salad and crab cake. Well, let's start off with that, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I'll go for the much better than mom's. Meat much meat better than mom's meat meat. Meat. As in better than mom's at home. Better than your own mom. Yeah. Wow. Okay, great. What else? So I've got to go for the Balmer fish and chips. It's Balmer. 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 Ball Balmer. So it's something like Baltimore. Oh, so you're okay. saying it quickly. Balmer. Balmer. <laughs> it's Balmerese. 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 Oh, Balmerese, right. Say the word Balmer. Balmer. Yes. Thank you, Hon. 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 Short for honey. Honey. Love it. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you, Hon. 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 Chips, okay. Now it's in the kitchen, Okay, that's for the chef. All right, let's go. All right, we can go on the big bag. You know, I used to just say, you know, serve good food and the people will come. This is what it should always taste like. This is perfect. Well, we continue to serve good food, but the people don't come. Big bag? Is that my big bag? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you taking that or you want me to take it? Go ahead. Tower of seafood. Holy mackerel. Big bag club. What's in there? This is a layer of shrimp salad, mm -hmm. a layer of long crab cake, mm -hmm. bacon, and lettuce and tomato. Thank you. How the hell do you start eating sandwich this wide? Uh, I mean, honestly, squash a little down. I surrender. I have to break it down. Deconstruct it. Mm, wow. The crab is delicious. It's a very pleasant surprise, let me tell you. Got this nice layer of crab, and then these stone-cold shrimp underneath. Horrible. Amanda? Oh, gross. This bit here, I mean, they, they taste like they're a week old. Would you mind? God, they're ghastly. Taste of the fridge. Mm, it does have a weird aftertaste. It's horrible, that aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes like they're tainted. Yeah. That's a mess. I'll leave that one, darling. The chef. They said the, uh, they said the shrimp taste that they had like a weird aftertaste to it. Like almost tastes like really? the refrigerator. What's the matter? Hmm. He said they taste like they're old. A lot of the menu items are crap. Uh, wow. I'm going to have a good look at the menu. The menu's huge, right? The menu is huge. The last I counted, there was 126 things on there. <sighs> OK, great. Right, let's start off with, oh, fried ravioli. Love them. OK. Do you know what? What about the linguine escatori? OK. What is the catch of the day? That's uh, mahi-mahi. Let's do that. Absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. Decor's hideous. It's stuck in a time warp. Takes me back to 1981. Okay, I have a fried ravioli for Chef Ramsay. Fried ravioli for the chef. 
my food is the best food that's possibly made. But the problem with the restaurant is that we're fighting so much. Fried ravioli. Okay. Fried ravioli. What's inside the ravioli, please? Uh, it's a five cheese stuffed ravioli. And the five cheeses are? Uh, I'm not sure. Well. Wow. It's a pre-made ravioli. So they're not homemade? They're, those are not homemade. If we don't even make them here, it'd be nice to know what's inside them. I'll find out right now for you. Thank you. How's it going? I need to find out what cheeses are in the ravioli. What cheeses are in the ravioli? Yeah. yeah. What kind of cheese is in the bread of ravioli? Read the box. It's a ricotta cheese, Joe. So. It's a ricotta cheese. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, horrible. There's something deep, fried, frozen. It doesn't even taste like cheese. Jesus, no. You got a whole uh, whey, and you got American grana. And uh, a skim cheese. Yeah. OK, perfect. You got it? Thank you, yes. Yeah, not good. Franzi, I checked on the cheeses for you. Uh, mascarpone. Mascarpone. Ricotta. Ricotta. Uh, also, uh, American grana. Something called a cheese whey and culture blend. Where the fuck is that from in Italy? I don't. I have no idea where that's from. Ooh. And a uh, skim cheese. Skimmed cheese in a fried ravioli. What does that mean? It's fat-free cheese dipped in fat. Dipped in fat, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Skim cheese in a fried ravioli. 